I have an actual desk now. I'm practically an adult. Hey YouTube! So the other day I was thinking a lot about how much I missed college, but also didn't miss it at the same time. It was a four year stretch of my life where I was just the most socially awkward person ever. Though to be fair, not a lot has changed since then, but I did a lot of growing up during those four years. For those of you currently in college right now, power to you for making it this far, and for those high school seniors who are about to be in college, Best of luck. For those of you who don't know this about me, I went to Emerson College up in Boston, which is a small, liberal arts college full of the most eccentric people I have ever met. Me being one of them. I came in as a freshman not really knowing who I was as a person and took those four years to really discover myself. One of my favorite stories to tell is that during my junior year of college, I actually entered the Mr. Emerson College pageant, which if you can't tell by the name, is the most prestigious male beauty pageant. Now, like I said, I was a weird kid in school, and I think my junior year was the absolute pinnacle of my weirdness over the past 24 years. I wasn't really having much luck in the love department, my hair changed color once every like two weeks or so, and I really didn't have a lot of friends at the time. Now at first I think I kind of entered the pageant as a joke, but also because I wanted some sort of validation. I figured that if I won, then maybe I was cooler than I actually thought that I was, which at the time wasn't all that cool. Long story short, I made an absolute fool out of myself and ended up not winning. It was probably one of the most embarrassing moments in my college career, and I think losing the pageant ultimately triggered something in me that made me realize that I had to approve of myself before I sought out the approval of others. Now fast forward to my senior year where I finally got my shit together. I had a serious boyfriend, an internship, a part-time job, and I made the dean's list, so everything was coming up Neil. I was meeting up with a guy that I was dating at the time for dinner, and one of the girls from the sorority that holds the Mr. Emerson College pageant approached me and said, hey, we're doing casting for this year's Mr. Emerson, do you want to be a part of it? Now, a part of me didn't want to go through that again and have to deal with all that embarrassment, but for some reason, I decided to go for it. I think this time around, though, I realized that I wanted to prove something to myself and not to everybody around me, and I decided to just just have fun with it. For the swimwear portion, I wore a full wetsuit. For the formal portion, I think I got leather pants. For the school spirit portion, I wore some teeny tiny gold booty shorts and a purple feather boa and did some sort of weird Emerson College cheer. And for the talent portion, I decided to speed wrap Nicki Minaj's super bass because apparently that's the only talent I really have. This one is for the boys with the boom and system, top down AC with the coolant system. When you come up in the club, people blazing up. You got stacks on deck like you save it up. Many ill, you really might get idea. And for the question and answer portion, I got like the hardest hitting question that was like, how would you define your time here at Emerson College and what about that makes you feel like you were the perfect candidate for Mr. Emerson? And while I can't remember my exact answer, I think it went something along the lines of Emerson College has put me through some of the toughest times in my life and also saw me through some of the best times. College has brought me some of the best memories and the worst memories, the best friends and the worst enemies, and I really wouldn't have had it any other way. It helped me grow up into the person that I am right now, and I'm happy that I went through it all. When it came down to it, I ended up winning the pageant through both the fan vote and the judges vote, so it was a landslide victory, and I don't know why, but it was one of the happiest memories I have from school. Not that I condone beauty pageants in any way, shape, or form, and nor do I think that they should be a way to validate your own existence, but I feel like I did something for me at the time, and it felt great. I had my best friends in the crowd cheering me on, my boyfriend at the time in the front row acting like he wasn't embarrassed by what I was doing, but he was. He secretly was, but he still loved me. And I don't think I've ever felt more confident in myself than I did in that moment. Do things to make you happy that are out of your comfort zone. Don't be afraid to push the limits of who you think you are as a person because you could come out better for it. Things happen for a reason and certain moments in life lead you to where you're supposed to be. If I had never worked up the courage to enter the Mr. Emerson pageant a second time around, I may have not been sitting here today. Also, I never would have gotten this nifty sash. I think part of the reason I ended up winning the pageant was because it showed that I was so comfortable with who I was and that Emerson College had made me that way. So don't be afraid to let your surroundings shape who you are. That's why they're there. Different places lead you down different paths and you never know where you're gonna end up. That's all I got for you guys. Until next time, I'll catch you later, nerds. This one is for the boys with the booming system, top-down AC with the cooling system. When you come up in the club, people blazing up. You got stacks on deck, like you save it up. Many ill, you real, might get a deal. You pop bottles and you get the right kind of build. You go, you don't, might sell coke. You always in the air, but you never like coach. You're 